Hello Puppet fans and welcome to this course on Puppet. Puppet is a leading IT automation platform in DevOps that is used to manage various stages of the IT infrastructure lifecycle including the provisioning, patching, configuration, and management of operating system and application components across enterprise data centers and cloud infrastructures. Puppet offers you the open source and enterprise versions, and this course is completely based on Puppet Enterprise. In this course we will start with introduction to Puppet and the DevOps approach with Puppet, and why Puppet Enterprise will be the good choice for large and complex infrastructure that's used and managed by different teams, Puppet Enterprise is the way to go. In this course we will learn infrastructure as code model and how Puppet as a tool can help you to describe your infrastructure as code. Then we will learn the push and pull method and we'll get to know which method Puppet used to apply the catalogs, and we will learn how Puppet agents do the secure communication with Puppet Master, agents and master SSL communication and certificates, and we will explore Puppet certificates auto signing policies, and Puppet catalog compilation process. In the basics we will learn the Puppet domain specific language and how DSL language helps us admins who does not have any prior knowledge on programming language. This course will also helps you to learn the code versus data model and how Puppet can help to separate the data from the code using higher a data lookup or by any other method. We will also cover the fact which will help you to create logical conditions inside your manifest. In DSL we will learn the declarative approach and how Puppet as a tool helps you to achieve desired state of any resource. We will also learn how idempotence can helps you to apply the classes on limited number of times to achieve the same result. It then helps you dive into the world of Puppet by understanding the basics of the languages such as resources, providers, manifests, modules and then it help you creating dynamic code with templates. Once equipped with the basics, it unlocks Puppet Enterprise's full potential with advanced topics such as Environments Hire offer data lookup Code manager to deploy your codes from GitHub to Puppet Master You will also learn the basics of GitHub like version control and source code management, and you will learn to place all your codes on GitHub. Roles and Profiles method which is the most reliable way to build reusable, configurable, and refactorable system configurations. In advanced section you will learn to manage the AWS EC2 instances with Puppet AWS module. And with Puppet Docker module you will learn to manage the Docker containers agent nodes. You will also learn to configure Puppet high availability servers. Puppet Pipeline section will help you for continuous delivery and release automation. This course will also provide you the many hands-on lab on Puppet Console, how Console can help you for node group classification and job orchestration. This course will help you to deploy manageable Puppet infrastructure is a very flexible design that has been field tested in many companies, varying from very small to very large. This course is a very practical guide on how to set up your Puppet infrastructure while teaching you how it works and why. This course takes from From Zero to Puppet Master in few weeks. The end result of following this course is a fully functional, production-ready manageable Puppet infrastructure. Also, there will be many labs that will make you comfortable with Puppet. This was the quick course details, so let's get started to learn Puppet Enterprise.